Hey there YouTube, I um, just want to make a quick video, um, I was just maintaining um, the tank, cleaning the glass a little, you can see it's slightly cleaner, and I'm uh, mounting some of the SPS that I, uh, ooh, mounting some of the SPS that I had up here, and I um, just want to make a quick video of some growth. Um, as you can see on the Pora, ever since the LEDs, it has started to get some green back, you can see right there. That one branch and that one branch. Um, just to, this is just a quick video showing some great new growth that I've had some on some these SPS from the LEDs, coloring back up nicely. And on the bird's nest, um, I just placed it there, broke another piece, put it down below. I'll show that later. But um, as you can see, wow, um, lots of new growth everywhere. Um, yeah. I'm <laughs> Pretty excited, just ran upstairs to get the camera just to show this before the pollets come back out. But yeah, just a quick video of um, some of the growth that I've had on these guys, probably from the S from the LEDs. Yeah, I'm still placing the Idaho, no, um, the flower petal Monty, still placing it. That's temporarily uh, Mon um, orange Monty cap right there. And on this, oh, sorry is kind of dirty um, but um, on this small frag uh, or small piece of the bird's nest you could see that there is also some great growth uh, sorry for the bad camera here okay even far away from here you could see that there's some lots of small new growth on the branches which is pretty good yeah like I said I'm so clean the glass so it's kind of dirty a little but yeah, just one of a quick video of these growth patterns. Um, great new growth. I mean, after just two weeks, two, three weeks, I think, of having these LEDs and still acclimating to them, and they're already starting to grow. And ever since I had the highlights, they never showed any growth this much or any new colors as this. Um, these guys, ooh, sorry, uh, these guys are for sale. Um, these guys are doing great. Um, that Pacillopora, um, Prostrata in the back. Um, Prostratas are often commonly mistaken for uh, Milliporas, but I don't know if you're able to see that. But he has a branch sticking out now, so that's good. Um, so over here we have the uh, Red Planet, the one that's sticking out right here. Doing great, slowly encrusting. Next to it is the Rose Millipora, slightly encrusting, uh, probably on the back as you can see over there on the red planet, sorry, starting to cring, um, crawling down the skin, um, yeah. Um, the tricolor, slowly, like I said, as you can see there's already like a little slant on the skins of the SPS, they're starting to encrust. Um, green Slimer, still doing good encrusting on the back. And um, Green Millie, as you can see, there's a huge piece of skin that's encrusting over there. And um, I also have another piece of the Green Slimer that's over here. I'm temporarily placing it to see if they would um, grow well down in lower areas like that. Um, but yeah, I just want to quick, quick, uh, make a quick video showing you guys these um, new growth and changes happening to the SPS from the LEDs probably so yeah, if you're thinking about upgrading to LEDs from metal highlights I would absolutely recommend rapid LED um, for a 70 gallon that's this deep and have 39 LEDs and be able to grow SPS is a lot so if camera has weird colors now um, so yeah if you have um, yeah the LEDs could be a little pricey but in the end they're totally worth it so I'm just wanting, just wanted to make a quick video showing you the growth and whatnot so um, yeah um, stay tuned for other upcoming videos um, I'll probably make an update video tomorrow or the day after so um, thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe and stay tuned for more Thanks.